Greetings and thank you for giving me the opportunity to come your way and spend a few moments with you in the Word of God. And uh, this week, I've just been sharing a few things from my own life in the early days. And this last thing that I want to highlight for you is one of the things that I learned in those early days, or at least did in those early days, and have continued to do since then, is to learn from other people. I remember in those early days, I started reading a lot of Christian books. And uh, reading books, listening or, or, or reading books by other people and learning from their lives was a big inspiration uh, for me personally. In those days, we didn't, have, of course, we didn't have videos that we could watch. Uh, it was not easily accessible. We couldn't listen too much to audio sermons and all of that. So books were a big thing. And uh, uh, the wonderful thing was in the church that I was going to, they had a nice library and a lot of books had been placed there. And so I began to read. Uh, I read books uh, that stirred my heart. Uh, Oswald J. Smith, I remember his book, Passion for Souls. Why Revival Tarries by, Le by Leonard Ravenhill. Uh, there were books by T.L. Osborne, uh, the great healing evangelist. Um, I read books uh, by Yonggi Cho, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the pastor of uh, the world's largest church that really inspired me. And so a, a wide range, whether they were charismatic Pentecostal type or evangelical type writers, uh, read them, read the stories uh, of people uh, who sought God, who experienced God. And so through all of this reading, reading widely different authors, uh, they inspired my life. And uh, the Apostle Paul wrote in Philippians 4, 9, he's writing to the Philippians. He says, the things which you learned and received and heard and saw in me, these do, and the God of peace will be with you. He's telling the Philippians, whatever you saw in me, whatever you heard from me, whatever you received from me, you follow that. And so we need to continue doing this. That is looking at other men and women of God who are living right before God, who are serving God and learn from their lives. We don't know everything. And that's why God has put us in a body to learn from each other. And it's a great thing to learn. I want to encourage you to learn from people of the past. There are men and women who've gone before us some many decades, some hundreds of years before us, who have left a rich treasure of their learning, their understanding in the books they've written and in other resources they've made available. Take them, read them, let it inspire you. The things that we can learn, that we can receive, that we can observe from other men and women of God are a very important part of shaping our lives. And even today, I continue to do that and of course, we have lots of other resources. Uh, we have videos and audio books and all kinds of things by which we could continue learning and growing. I want to encourage you to do that as an important part of your journey with God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for men and women who've gone before us. Men and women around, men and women of God around us from whose lives we can learn, we can receive, we can observe and we can be strengthened and be inspired. Help us to receive from other people you've placed in the body of Christ. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.